Good morning viewers. In today's video, I will be explaining light, sound and force, a science lesson for class 3. Now getting into the lesson, we need light to see the objects that are around us and sun is the main source of light for us on earth. We also get light from other objects like electric bulb, torchlight, candle, lantern, oil lamp and table lamp. The objects like sun, bulb, candle etc. that give light are called luminous objects while the objects like table, book, chair etc that do not give light are called non-luminous objects. Now let's learn transparent, translucent and opaque objects. Materials through which light can pass completely are called transparent objects. Materials that allow light to pass through them partially are called translucent objects and materials through which light cannot pass at all are called opaque objects. Now let us see how a shadow is formed. Light travels in straight lines called rays. When there is an opaque object in the way of light rays, a shadow of the object is formed. In our solar system, the earth revolves around the sun and the moon revolves around the earth. Earth and moon do not have light of their own and they receive light from the sun. Moon reflects the sunlight that falls on it. Now let us see how solar eclipse occurs. When the moon blocks the sunlight from falling on the earth, the shadow of the moon falls on the earth and the sun cannot be seen or partially hidden for some time and such a phenomenon is called solar eclipse. Similarly, lunar eclipse occurs when the earth blocks the sunlight from falling on the moon. The shadow of the earth falls on the moon and we cannot see the moon from the earth for some time. Now let us learn about sound. Every day we hear various types of sounds around us. When we speak or laugh, we produce sound. Types of sounds Sounds that are soft and make us happy are pleasant sounds, while unpleasant sounds that irritate us are called noise. Unpleasant sounds cause noise pollution and make us sick. Everyone gets disturbed or irritated with loud noise. So, we should avoid blowing horns in the traffic. We should speak softly and play music or television in low volumes. Now let's learn about force. We do different types of work in our day-to-day -day life. We either push or pull something by applying force on it and do work. Such a push or pull is called force. Force can do many things like it can stop a moving object, it can move an object, it can even change the shape of an object. Hope you find the lesson useful. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Keep watching more educational videos on my channel.